G'day everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA. Today I just wanted to show you some of the relatively new features around the analytics in the analytics area for scatter charts. So as you, some of you might know that uh, if you select a visualization, you have formatting options, but you also have this feature here, which enables, which has some or contains some native analytics, which can automatically get created for you. So in the past, you may have had to create DAX formula to create some of these, but also there were some just that just weren't actually possible with the scatter chart. And so there's many more options now, and I want to talk through some of them um, and how they can really add value to your analysis. Now, the first thing I want to show is that, or I want to um, obviously lay it out what, what we're actually looking at. So what we're looking at here is I've run uh, simple calculations. I'm, I'm comparing my total sales towards my uh, difference in sales between this year and last year. So we're seeing here, um, if you look uh, if you look along the x-axis, we're seeing our good performers which are on uh, off to the right hand side and our poor performers which are on uh, which are out to the uh, left hand side because the diff in sales is below zero as you, as you can see there. Um, and so for instance, Elizabeth here is um, doing incredibly well. Um, they're a massive outlier and Charlotte, you know, large sales and a big difference from um, last year. So obviously they had um, much smaller sales in a previous uh, the previous year. Uh, compared to the same quarter this uh, this year. Now, what's cool is that um, obviously what's seriously cool about just Power BI in general is the ability to really quickly um, change here, right? So I can jump to any quarter and I can see, okay, well, quarter on quarter, um, quarter this quarter versus last year. You know, what are the outliers? Who who are performing well versus um, versus last year's sales versus who are not, etc. So. Pretty good insight already, and I've shown a number of examples where you could actually detect outliers or you could showcase who's good, who's bad. But there is now an opportunity to probably you know a lot easily, uh, easier to uh, natively go and showcase or um, highlight good versus bad results. Now let's jump into it. If I jump to this analytics section, you'll see here there's heaps of options now. There's heaps and heaps and heaps of options. So the very first one. Um, and remember, it does depend on what context you have um, filtered on your results. But uh, in this case, um, but what is also cool is that um, it all of these um, native analytics functions will always change for the context as well. Now, in this case, we're looking uh, at trend lines, so I'm just going to add one. And you see how easy is that? We can put a we can put a relatively simple trend line in there so on and so forth and you can see well that actually looks like it's probably averaging over time um, but you can see through time you know how who's you know who's who's above or below um, the trend so you might have a, a different scenario here but it's cool how you can just quickly put it in there but i'm going to show you some other things so i just want to actually get rid of this i want to show you what i really like is that you can put a constant line in here so we can create a grid right and you see this a lot where you where when someone has some information in the scatter plot, you want to break it up into these four grids. And so I'm going to in this case, so um, the constant line for the x-axis, I'm going to keep it at zero. And then for the y, I'm going to pick a value. I'm going to say, okay, well, so let's say 40,000. 40,000 is a good result. And so now we get this grid, and I can click through time, and you can very quickly see who's where, right? Who's where? And the other cool thing is that you could also set this up. You could sort set this up to go and find an outlier, or to or to signify any outlier that you might want to showcase, um, you know, in, in for a particular filter, for a particular context. So, you know, as I think of it, you know, maybe I want to isolate. So instead of having these numbers, I want to say, okay, well, who am I? I really want to drill into my worst performers. So the ones that. Um, you know, have reasonable sales. So I'm going to say, let's say 30,000, but uh, minus 20,000 here. So ones that have really, really performed poorly. Uh, let's just make sure we get that in. Okay, cool. So we've got this here, right? And so now this little subgrouping down here, these are these are these are our outliers, or these are the anomalies that we need to figure out. Well, what's going on here? Why has Stanford dropped? You know, 40 odd thousand. Um, you know, for this quarter versus the quarter before. And so, and then we can quickly go through and those are set, those are set in there. So pretty, pretty cool little um, addition to your scatter charts. Now there's a few others here. Um, we can also add, so this symmetry shading, this is pretty new as well. So we can add that in 
and this um, I think um, it obviously starts from zero here so maybe if you want say um, a straight diagonal line out um, from zero then this is the perfect option for you so just another another option um, obviously my x-axis doesn't start at zero it's more dynamic it starts from a variety of different um, numbers depending on how far below um, you know these uh, these regional areas are um, from uh, their sales the year before so that doesn't totally work in my case but a really good application or a really good feature as well and then we've also got a few other things like ratio line uh, etc so I won't go into all of them but basically main, the main point of this um, of this tutorial is I want to show you how, how awesome these new features are um, and, and what you can achieve with them especially if you're showing comparisons like we are here so first of all you just got to set up the right insight and then you can um, utilize these features to really drill into specific aspects of your data now in some examples I've showcased I actually use formula to to um, create filters or an additional legend in these types of reports and that's a, that's that's also a really good way I mean it's a lot more complex than just doing this um, but I think both have uh, you know both have good and bad points so um, you know, combining both of them would be the best. You know, if you could combine the coloring uh, aspects of this as well as um, these outlines or these analytics lines, uh, you know, then that's really, really powerful stuff. Okay, so I'm going to wrap things up there. Um, certainly a good feature. Hopefully you can utilize this in Power BI. Um, many, many great practical applications for it. Um, all the best with this one. I will talk to you soon.